I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. That was it. It was six degrees this morning in New York City. It's probably, I don't know, 18 or 20 right now. I was in my work clothes. I was cold in my work clothes. It was seven o'clock and I had to go to the pool and do my 2,000 yards. 2,000 yards to maybe a professional swimmer is their warm up. To me, after only two weeks, three weeks of swimming, that's pretty fucking good, okay? But this is the thing. I didn't want to go. I almost lost, or I'm on the verge, I have literally, no joke, 23 text messages that I have to check over. And I don't want to check it over because I'm on the verge of losing a very large commission, 60K. 60K commission because of something the IRS is doing with the sellers. I wanted to block that out because I'm relying on that money to do certain things within the business. And I did, I, there, was, there was an iota in my body that said, you know what? You don't have to do it. You don't have to go to the pool. You don't have to swim the 2,000 yards. But I could tell you this. There is no feeling like doing something you don't want to do. You may even not think you could do it and you actually accomplish it. I can't give you that feeling. You can't gain that on the weekend. You can't gain that by going to the wedding, looking forward to a three-day weekend, a vacation, the summer, warm weather, whatever the case is, I have no idea. But I could tell you right now, I can't give you that feeling. You have to earn that feeling. And this is the kicker. I will tell you, this is the kicker right here. When you start holding your, when you start holding yourself accountable and keeping promises to yourself, that's the important thing. Keeping promises to yourself. You make a promise to train every day or train whatever your coach tells you to do. 2,000 yards, my coach told me to do in this certain rhythm, in these certain laps. I did it. When you start actually saying, I'm a person that does what they say they're going to do, that bleeds into other areas. It's crazy. It's crazy. You, you, you can only earn that. That's not through visualization. That's not through affirmations. That's not through meditation or well-wishing or praying or buying it. You can't buy that. You can't buy that feeling that you actually start convincing yourself, I am the person that does what they say they're going to do. Because that gives you confidence and that also loses confidence if you say, I'm going to go to the gym, but you don't. I'm going to make prospecting calls, but you don't. I'm going to try and get a girlfriend, but you don't. I'm going to read a book a month, but you don't. I'm going to be on Instagram less, but you don't. You Maybe I'm going to save money, but you don't. That's where you lose confidence. That's, that's, that's the kicker. That's the kicker. Like you... Anyone that says anything different has not experienced it. An author who gets their book in on the deadline, that confidence, that, that level of just willpower to make it and do it and get it done, you, you can't buy that. So for you, holding yourself accountable and actually doing what you're saying, what, doing what you say you're going to do when you don't want to do it, is the ultimate confidence level. Signing off. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon.